Hi everybody and welcome back to Retro Car Dogs. It's a great day today. Standing outside, short sleeve shirt, 34 degrees, nice and hot. And we've got a very, very, very nice Morris 1958 convertible owned by another more than Rusty Hinges. You know who he is. We're going to take it for a little test drive. We're going to show you a little bit about the car. It's an absolute stunner. But it is a surprise, we will reveal later, there's a surprise about this car that makes it even more rare than a normal convertible, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that. So just take a walk around with us, have a look at the car, um, very nice, original, okay, probably never been resprayed, might have been touched up here and there over the years, uh, very nice, now oh, let's walk around and have a look at it. So it's a Morris 1000, so it's running the uh, original little 850 motor, uh, four-speed box, non-synchro in first, okay, little red interior, lovely, as you can see it's very, very nice little car. Got the traffic cadres, but I don't think they actually work on the 58, I think they worked on the previous models. Love the way this has been done. Nothing more than with a convertible. Why have the roof up if you have a convertible? That's Brian's words. So we're going to put Brian in the car now. We're going to jump in. We're going to do a little test drive in it so you can appreciate this little car. Let's look around at the back here. As you can see, very original, very nice. Paintwork showing its signs of age here and there. It's got little cracks and things like that. But that's what makes it just a genuine car. Genuine tells the truth about who it is and what it's all about. So. Let's have a look at it and let's jump in and go for a drive. Guys, we're going to go for a test run. We've got Rusty Hinges sitting next to us. Very, not very often you'll see him in the film. Uh, and it's a privilege just to drive this. You're just going back so many years in history with the wire on the steering wheels, the one little stalk over here, the little cubbies over here for storage, another little cubby there uh, for storage. Um, I think cigarette, yeah, for the cigarettes. Those of you who want to still catch a smoke in the car, Okay, uh, a little four speed on the floor. Um, let's uh, give it a whirl. We're driving around in my head of the valley, which is lots of mountains, we'll avoid them. Turn. And just like that, we're in business. Pull a little button and off we go. Brian, what's that? Uh, you got your, your choke. Choke. Wipers. Wipers. And then you obviously have your lights. Lights and starter. starter That's it. Yeah. It's overcomplicated. I love the little Smith gauge here, which is in miles per hour. So that on the right says S for start. That's I S thought for that start. was sport. That could yeah. be sport mode as well. <laughs> is that the turbo switch on the floor? Yeah, that's a dip switch. Okay, so there's your dip switch for the guys who are more modern and don't know what it is. When your bright lights, uh, when your dim lights are on and you want to make it bright, you depress that and that becomes bright and then you want to take them off, you depress it again and it's dim lights again. All right, and then these tiny little things on the floor are brake clutch and that minute little thing down there is an accelerator pedal. Um, normal H gearbox, first, second, third, and fourth. Reverse being that way. Handbrake, wind up windows. And we're in a convertible, 34 degrees midday. And we're going to go for a little run. Non synchro in first for you, you don't know what it is. It means there's no synchro in first, so you can't do a rolling start and just put it into first. You've got to stop dead. And when we say dead, it's absolutely dead. Then you put it into first. So the trick is going to be to do a little U turn here. Let's see if we can do that. Oh yeah, sounds lovely, eh? Very responsive little accelerator. Do we do it in one turn? No, I'm impressed. Look at that. There we go. In a convertible 1958. Here we go. Okay. Very nice little change. Nice little touch, actually. Carpets are lovely. Oh, the carpet's original, right? Yeah. Into third, we are going uphill. I'm quite surprised about it. it's actually quite strong. The motor's quite strong because this is a decent uphill. Uh, no play on the steering. This car is in very, very good condition. Um, instant response into fourth, no fuss. Here we go. Lovely little car. Okay, we might run out of steam now. It's a long hill. Yeah, I feel it. Into third, no fuss. Accelerate. Very, very nice. What I love about these little cars is that this is such an original one. There's 
very little respray work being done to this. Am I right, Brian? Yeah. It's just basically totally very original, cloned and original. So the surprise I was going to tell you about in this in this particular video is this is not actually started its life out as a convertible. This is a genuine clone. In other words, it's not a butcher job. It was earlier in its life. It was converted to a convertible with all the original parts from the factory to make it a proper, authentic convertible so in theory it's a clone um, but you would not unless you're a hardcore uh, Morris specialist would you not know that this is a clone convertible but it's done correct all the correct uh, fittings over here are done correctly the uh, supports over here are done correctly um, there's other things the the uh, actual convertible top itself is factory spec convertible am I correct Brian? Yep. Um, so everything is factory spec in terms of its uh, conversion so it is a legitimate proper clone not some backyard hack job um, that would have been done and back in the old days right I'm sure you guys know the coach builders would have been sent this part to do and that's exactly what has been done it's been done by a professional coach builder Hans or something like it or, or a Smith and Walter Walter and Smith whatever they would sell coach builders converted to a convertible and it's 100% legit and nice gear change is absolutely seamless and smooth clutch is lovely nice and soft uh, got some serious potholes to swim around there um, the ride is lovely the steering is very responsive like really instantly here we're doing 25 mile an hour in the suburb and she's not struggling she's not pulling um, very very nice so the convertible has been done so well that when Brian first got the car and showed us the car, um, I have been in the classic car scene many, many years. And I'm fairly, fairly knowledgeable about classic cars. And I would not have, I could not guess it wasn't an original convertible and it was a clone. Do you have any idea when they cloned it? In the early 80s? Uh, yeah, I think so. The previous guy, the previous owner owned, had it for about 30 years. His daughters actually used it to go to school. His daughters used it to go to school. school yeah. So braking on this is actually very nice. Um, so uh, I pulled away in second. It's got lots of torque for a little 850. Handles really well. The little gear change is so nice. It's actually unreal. Get, I don't even get modern cars and changes nice sometimes. Um, again, got the quarter little light windows. Um, you don't put the roof up. No, no, no. Leave it up down and just enjoy the summer. Enough cars and rooms. Yeah. And it's got the normal, it doesn't have what I'm really enjoying about it. There's no, there's no chassis shake and wobble and where you can feel that it's been an aftermarket chop. It's just very solid and very nice. Uh, very nice. And the steering is actually also in good condition. So, guys, this is just really classic motion. I mean, open top, absolute pleasure to drive. This is really, really nice. Nip in here and it's just handbrake turn, do some drifting, get it going. Here for this, this is cool. Here for this. No problem. There we are. Giving it that beat. 25 miles an hour. This is really nice. And it's still the original little eight, uh, 850. Yeah, it's it's more, been done up. Uh, it has been done, eh? Yeah. So motor's been done, suspension, brakes, everything yeah. feels solid. So this is a full rebuild mechanically, although the body's still been left uh, patinaed and original. Am I right? It's very, very nice. Very impressed. Guys, this is an absolute pleasure to drive. Absolute pleasure to drive. This is a really nice car. And I'm giving it that beans. And I'm in fourth and I hit 30 miles an hour and I didn't even struggle. We're going to pull over here. So guys, you know what to do. If you've enjoyed the video, um, another lovely car owned by Brian out of his collection of Morris's and so many other things. Remember, you need to subscribe, share and like, tell all your buddies. Come and have a look at a fantastic little Morris convertible. 
really a quality little motor car and Brian this is a great little car I think you've got a brilliant buy so it's very exciting to know about this vehicle besides the ownership and the conversion and everything on this is that this car for the rest of the world who want to know anything this car and the article will be on this video and will be attached okay Nelson Mandela those of you who know who Nelson Mandela is from South Africa sat in this particular vehicle back in the day so this is quite a famous vehicle from that perspective and we'll attach the article so that you can read it and see but Nelson Mandela was in this vehicle how cool is that we hope you enjoy the channel we hope you join all the stuff we present to you subscribe share and like don't forget to put your notification bells on bye for now